Akira Kurosawa was a prolific Japanese filmmaker. Over the course of his 57-year career, he directed 30 films. He is most famous for his samurai films like the internationally acclaimed Seven Samurai, but I want to talk about his lesser-known film made in the early years of post-war Japan. One Wonderful Sunday follows a young couple through their day together in 1947 Tokyo. Through an analysis of the characters, we can see the evolving portrayal of masculinity and femininity in Japanese society due to the economic and psychological effects of war. The following scenes focus on the male protagonist, Yuzo, as he expresses his feelings of inadequacy and despair brought on by his inability to provide for his fiance. He doesn't have enough money to take her on a date, let alone marry her or have a home together. <laughs> なんで僕なんて持ったのかさ。私いつか そろそろ愛想が真面目な自分が自分でもだんだん意識するのは分かるんだ自分で自分が頼れないんだ I want to focus on the female protagonist Masako and how she embodies the involving characteristics of femininity. Masako's clothing is very simple. She has holes in her shoes and she wears no makeup. She is not ornate or embellished like the women of feudal Japan. Also, her character is quite childlike and goofy. <laughs> ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。あ。雪でも降ったら。雪だるま2つできるわ。帰ってないのか。平気よ。その連行と記事が熱いんですもの。質問。見たね。大きな穴が開いてるんでしょ。水が入った時出ていくように開けたのよ。
In this next scene, we see Yuzo going to sit in a concrete cylinder, but Masako nudges him and lays her coat down to sit for herself. This small interaction shows how her choice to sit on the ground was not usual, and thus Yuzo didn't offer it to her. This adaptation was easy for Masako to accomplish, but we see her really confronting her gender as she is faced with the decision to enter her fiancé's bedroom. In this scene, we see her sullen. She seems to be worried that the older woman will judge her for entering a man's room while she's still unmarried. But she hesitantly gives in and sees that she has no choice. Because everything has changed so fundamentally, she has to let go of the old ideas of being a woman. Without money and beauty or pride and honor, the Japanese man and the Japanese woman are stripped down and find themselves developing new characteristics of being a man and being a woman. This also brings the man and the woman closer together through their shared experience of trauma. As the film ends, we will see in the following clip, it is Masako who comes to Yuzo's rescue when she breaks the fourth wall and pleads with the viewers to clap for him. Oh, no, no, no. 
Two voices fill up a white room. Two voices tear up the walls. My head, my voice is no good to make it here. I'm mute in here. 